Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing an extra special holiday edition of the Be Wow, the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. So I tried to save all of like the big holiday releases that I wanted to talk about for this video, so I really don't know how long it's going to be. <laughs> we shall see. But if you have not already seen this series before, what I do is typically every other Wednesday go through all the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wish list or if everything's a total washout. Like I mentioned earlier, this is going to be mainly focused on the holiday releases for 2019, so we've got a lot to talk about. There's a guy mowing his lawn outside even though it's 8 a.m. Let's just, just, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. We've got a lot to go through. So the first release I want to actually, so before I jump in, I should do an update because um, there are a lot of Black Friday sales that are happening. I am filming this right before Thanksgiving. It's not going to be up for a little bit after, but I just wanted to give you an update about what I'm actually going to be buying for Black Friday. And the main purchase I made was with the Midas Cosmetics sale. So I've been wanting to try Midas for a while and honestly the price of their palettes, well they're not too expensive, the shipping combined with it was just kind of nuts because the shipping even here in even here in like the U, the, the you know the continental US was like over $15 and I was like mm, maybe really think about it. Um, and that's including like discount codes and stuff. So uh, with this Black Friday sale everything was like 50 to 80 percent off. <laughs> And so I was like, I'm gonna go. So I got the Lemonade palette, the yellow palette, which is a pre-order, so that should be coming in probably a little bit later in December. I got the Flower Bomb palette, which actually I've been really excited about. And then I got two of their smaller quads from their recent coffee collection, which just tickled my fancy because I love coffee and I love makeup. So smash them together and Monica wants it. So I definitely will do at some point, probably after the new year, a video on the Midas Cosmetics palettes along with looks and everything because it's a it's a brand that I've been really excited to try for a bit and I just, I'm just, I can't wait to get those palettes in. I just can't. All right, so jumping in, the first product or I guess, uh, what am I trying to say? Collection I want to talk about is from Fenty Beauty and following in the steps of other big beauty brands, they took one of their best sellers and made it into a whole collection. Think Jaclyn Hill and the, uh, the highlight, what is it called? Champagne Pop and then how Becca made Champagne Pop a whole collection. Fenty did the same thing but with the Trophy Wife highlighter. So the Trophy Wife like collection now. So there is a Kilowatt Freestyle highlighter, again, in just in the original Trophy Wife. There is a Gloss Balm in Trophy Wife. There is a Hyper Metallic Liquid Eyeliner and a Hyper Glit Lipstick in Trophy Wife. Honestly, this shade is too dark. It, obviously, it's not made for someone in my skin tone, uh, but I really want to try that eyeliner. I think that eyeliner will look gorgeous like a nice bright gold eyeliner so i really can't fault fenty i know some people have been saying oh this is obviously a cash grab well obviously they're a makeup company i do think this is a decent collection they didn't go like crazy overboard they just have a gloss they have an eyeliner and they have a lipstick honestly they could have done a lot worse <laughs> i think so um i've never owned the uh highlighter because it obviously would not be a highlighter on me i could only use it as an eyeshadow and i didn't want to spend that much money on a single eyeshadow honestly but i've seen it on people with deeper complexions and it's gorgeous so i'm glad that this collection like exists to cater to those people because could you imagine a monochrome look with this like some of the deeper complexion like um oh this would be so pretty the highlighter using the highlighter as just a single shadow look the lipstick the lip gloss the eyeliner ah i cannot wait to see someone do that full look it's gonna look amazing Ah, but it's obviously not meant for me so I'm probably if anything I'm just gonna pick up the eyeliner next let's talk about Tarte because Tarte tends to come out with a lot of kind of weird crazy holiday releases that I'm not really into but for some gosh darn reason I kind of want this palette this is the Tarte Winter Wonder Glam Luxe Eye Palette. It's $54, which is that's a bit much, but you get this whole eyeshadow palette, you get a kind of useless brush, and then you get um, a mascara and an eyeliner. I haven't actually like purchased much from Tarte in a long time. Uh, I've been like on the fence about whether or not I want to forgive them and if I can forgive them if I'm in a place to do so because of their whole issue with their foundation, like almost two years ago now but uh this palette actually is like 
calling to me like in the same way that the ABH soft glam did like I'm looking at this and like I want to see it in store if I can because I want to see the textures but this looks like a nice exactly what it says like a nice holiday glam palette and I really want it <laughs> I don't know why but I do so this might be the first part part so this might be the first Tarte palette I pick up in a long time all right it's time let's talk about abh i'm gonna go over quickly just the abh uh black friday deals that they're coming out with last year i'm pretty sure they premiered their vault collection for the first time where they put a whole bunch of abh palettes together and so they're doing different variations of that this year and i'm not a, i'm actually like not a fan of the palettes they picked to put in here and i'll tell you why the first vault is three palettes and it is the modern renaissance the soft glam and norvina I don't know i feel like if you are an abh fan you have at least one of these palettes and if you own one of these palettes the vault isn't worth it so this is clearly marketed to someone who's new to the brand i mean i don't know at this point like they're decent palettes like i barely use norvina but i really like soft glam and i really love modern renaissance but i wouldn't recommend someone pick up this vault because i really don't think it's worth it the next vault if you can really call it that is just modern renaissance and soft glam this is really only worth it if you don't own either palette because honestly they're both really good palettes but I, like i said the most the majority of like really hardcore like abh fans have these palettes already I was kind of hoping they would bring out a new holiday palette or, I mean, yes. Did I complain about ABH coming out with too much recently? Yes. But do I think that these Black Friday deals that they're trying to sell, they seem more like money grabs because there's, there's nothing new here. And if you are a hardcore ABH fan, you have these. So why would you want to purchase these? Like, I feel like they're catering more towards, I don't know even what they're catering towards. Are they catering towards people who've never heard of the brand? And they're trying to get people to buy presents for people who like makeup. I don't know. I feel like they just threw together... It feels like a money grab because it seems like they threw together kind of their best-selling palettes just to be like, BAM! It's a Black Friday. You know? So not happy with those. Next, there are vaults. So last year, I was really tempted by the lipstick vault. And I'm actually so glad I didn't get it. I have so many lipsticks that I rarely use. And I did not need a vault from ABH. This year they're coming out with a vault of lip glosses and a vault of lipsticks and I honestly I have to say now that I've been through last year's experience I'm not tempted by either of these. I will say ABH lipsticks they're gorgeous. I have not tried lip gloss yet but a lot of people have raved about them. I honestly don't think you anyone really needs a vault unless like you own no lipsticks and that's all you're gonna use. If you have a collection, especially like me, I don't even have that many lipstick, oh, that many lipsticks. I don't even have like a huge collection, but I barely touch all of those. I feel like, we, I think we'll talk about it later, the ColourPop vaults, like ABH vaults. I don't think like vaults like these are necessary. I think they're overpriced. I, I think they're messy. All right, next we're gonna talk about a luxury product. This is the Tom Ford Badass Eye Color Quad for holiday 2019. And uh, I think the only Tom Ford product I've tried and loved was a lipstick called Indian Rose. And that was a gorgeous lipstick. But I had a mini. <laughs> I didn't buy a full size. Honestly, I think Tom Ford is overpriced and underwhelming. This quad, you can barely even see it from this picture. Let's look at it. It's like a red, kind of a green, a champagne, and a dark smoke. And look at the brushes they're including in here. Like for a luxury brand you could do better than that <laughs> uh, and then i think there is a uh lid lacquer they call it so like a glitter shadow that doesn't look the best and then there is a mascara just just the fact that they're calling this badass is like so i feel like they're like hello fellow kids how are you do like they're trying to appeal to a demographic that is obviously not there for them so I'm not interested. I don't know who would be, but also just looking at this brush that is like half sponge applicator and half shitty blending brush that won't even work is just making me giggle uncontrollably. Stop mowing the lawn. Let's jump into now a holiday release from Urban Decay. This is called the Party Favor Moon Dust Palette. 
And this, I mean, after like last year's palette, which got me to buy it, it was their big kind of like circle palette, colorful with shimmers and mattes and glitters. That really got me interested in their holiday release. But like this palette, what is it? The swatches look really like underwhelming. And like they're called like Neon Moon and Sugar High, but like the swatch, uh, it just looks boring. Especially when it's called Party Favor and it's got like this like 90s bowling alley aesthetic to it. Like, eh, underwhelmed. Underwhelmed. All right, let's jump into, I'm pretty sure this isn't an actual holiday release, but we have to talk about it. This is the new ColourPop huge neutral palette thing. I don't want to see ColourPop go the way of Morphe. I don't want them to come out with a whole bunch of just like these huge palettes that nobody can really fully use or like get anything out of. So I just, yeah. it's a very warm tone neutral palette. I feel like if you are a makeup collector, odds are you have these shades and you really don't need, you don't need this palette. This is really probably going to be marketed to like teenagers like as their first palette like their first big palette i mean i can't deny that it's probably going to be the good color pop uh formula but like eh, i don't know i don't like i don't like the way that color pop is going right now i'm worried all right next let's talk about the kylie holiday collection so i do want to say when i first looked at the palette because that's kind of what i zoom in on when i first looked at the palette i was kind of interested but then i really thought about it and i was comparing and i was looking and it's nothing special. Like it looks like, eh, I, I, I can, I can't probably dupe shade for shade, but I have these tones and I have these shades in my collection. So I don't need those. I also see brushes, which after their first release of the ridiculously expensive brushes, I refuse to buy brushes from Kylie. Like, come on, no. There's like a setting spray. There is some lip glosses. I think there's a liner, which honestly, I kind of am interested in the Kai liner just to test it out. You know, I, I'm, I'm curious, I'm curious about that. Uh, I think there's like some lip glosses and just, I mean, overall, I have to say the aesthetic, I'm living for it. This is a great like holiday packaging set. Like it's gorgeous, it's red, it's white, it's just, oh, and look at like the cover. Even though I don't like her lip kits, the cover of her lip kits are, they're adorable. They're so cute. This knocked holiday releases out of the park. Not sure about the quality of everything because I really don't tend to buy that much Kylie products, but really what I tend to really like are part of the permanent collection. So I can't speak a whole lot to their holiday releases because you know they could pull a two-faced and have all their holiday things be like shit you know you really can't tell but quite honestly the only thing i'd be willing to buy from here is the kai liner and i'm pretty sure that's a part of their permanent collection i think i've talked about this once in a be wow but this is house labs coming out with their holiday 2019 collection and i've heard nothing but like shit about this brand I'm not tempted to buy it. I'm not a huge fan of Lady Gaga, like, as a whole. Uh, I mean, I like her music, but I'm not a stan, you know? I'm not gonna spend this much money on makeup that I've heard, like, shit reviews on just because I like her, you know? <laughs> Think critically <laughs> about releases. It looks like there's going to be, like, a, a metallic liquid lipstick, some more eyeshadows, and just, like, what? Meh. Okay, jumping back to Kylie, because I've got to include this. I will not touch Kylie's skin with a 10-foot pole, okay? I've just, I've seen reviews from uh, dermatologists, from people who are big into skincare, talking about how, like, crap Kylie, like, not Kylie Cosmetics, but Kylie's skincare is. It's just, meh. Uh, but I have to say, this packaging is literally the cutest packaging I've ever seen, and I hate myself for liking it, but, like, it's each little product in its own little stocking, Oh my god, it's it's cute as hell, but I'm not gonna touch it because I've heard Kylie's skin is just horrible for you. So don't use it, don't try it, but just look at this cute little stocking packaging, enjoy it for a few minutes, and then move on. All right, let's talk about a color pop release that actually had me tempted for all the ten minutes. <laughs> this is something. Do I even know what this is called? It's called like the Butterfly Collection or something. The packaging was gorgeous, and the palette threw me for a loop. 
for a little bit. I don't even know, again, I don't even know this is a holiday release with ColourPop. It's just like a release a week. But this packaging and the shades, like, drew me in and I was like oh my god I want this palette so I posted about it on my Instagram and a good friend of mine <laughs> messaged me back and said you don't want that palette it's basically soft glam of different packaging and I was like you're right it is basically like a cooler tone soft glam of different packaging I don't need this <laughs> you know oh but the packaging I've seen the packaging of this collection is the cutest thing I think I've seen of ColourPop in a long time the only release I'm like waiting for from ColourPop, I want the Sophia lipstick collection restocked, which I think it will be the first week of December. I want that collection. <laughs> that whole I'm gonna buy the whole collection because it looks gorgeous. But outside of that, there isn't much from ColourPop tempting me lately. So another product that I don't think is specifically a holiday release, but caught my eye and I'm actually like tempted by, it, even though I know I don't I shouldn't buy it. <laughs> This is from Benefit, and this is the Porefessional Hydrating Primer. I have used their original Porefessional Primer, and I actually really liked it. I just think it's really overpriced. I think you can find the same primer at the drugstore for less, but it is still a good primer if you are willing to pay that much money for it. On the other hand, I tried their Porefessional Pearl Primer, and that one was shit. <laughs> it was not, it was supposed to be like a, a illuminating primer pore primer which doesn't make sense but that one wasn't a good one i am tempted by this like if i am given the opportunity to get a sample of this i will but i don't think i'm gonna pay the amount of money it is for a full size because these primers are just way too overpriced all right here we are let's talk about it so my thoughts on the last shane and jeffrey episode um i, I think it was a hot mess they basically worked their hardest to clamor together a finale that would make sense when really they they had too much going on shane did the like trailer for the series before he even he ever even edited it which was stupid honestly all these people were upset with the series because he previewed and promised something that never came through like I don't know why he doesn't understand that. Like, if you hadn't included it in the trailer, no one would be upset. But you did, and then you didn't deliver, and now people are upset. Talking about the drama in the beauty community. And he basically threw in, like, ten minutes of drama in the beginning. That's not what anyone wanted. It's not. It's basically him and Ryland watching the Tati video for just a little bit. And it just... It just... I don't know. I really didn't like the last episode. It, they were trying really hard to make it feel like a full circle moment with, oh, we started the series a year ago where Sheen was feeling so uncomfortable at a thingy, and now a year later he's got his own palette and he's still feeling uncomfortable at a thingy, but he feels accomplished. Like, I don't feel for him, honestly. After everything that's happened, after everything I've seen, and knowing how Jeffrey, I guess, portrays himself as a person and who we've seen of him, and now seeing Shane, like, I... I said in the beginning that I was liking Shane less and less with each episode. And now I, I basically hold Shane, maybe not as... Yeah, I hold Shane and Jeffrey now probably much to the same level. This was a huge money grab. I was upset when he decided that... Or originally in his uh, Instagram live, he said he wasn't even going to, like, complete the series because he thought it was done, which that screamed money grab. Like, you don't do a series which is basically a six-part commercial for your own palette and then say at the end even though there was more stuff and hundreds and hundreds of hours of film left you're just like oh i think it's done now now that i have my 10 million dollars like I, I think it's done yeah i pretty much lost all respect for shane during this series and i have to say i have some begrudging respect for uh Jeffree Star after this just because he's such an amazing businessman he really is like we could probably learn a bit from him business wise but like as a person yeah anyway that being said we're talking about the fact that they are going to release again or re-release the mini controversy palette and have it have that green shade that everyone wanted in the palette I think this is a uh, stupid I know everyone was saying release it as a single. They are releasing it as a single. I don't know. I just thought that that's, that screams even more money grab than the original series, you know? Like, we're releasing the same exact palette, but we're changing one shade. 
Ooh, like, are people supposed to fall over backwards for that? <sighs> oh my god, I'm just, I've had it up to here with both of them, and I'm kind of glad, you know, at this point, I'm glad the series is over. I don't want to hear about that anymore. <laughs> Uh, next, we have a new release from Wet n Wild. Looks like a holiday-ish kind of release, and they're- ooh, that's PG-13. <laughs> Sorry, I was just looking at the shade name. So, they're coming out with like these highlighters or duo pans where it's like a blush and a highlighter, and they look really cute, and I really want to pick them up because like they're advertised as only like seven dollars, which I think some Wet n Wild- there are some Wet n Wild products that are pretty garbage, but you know, when they've got good products, they've got good products. So I really want to try these out, but I just saw the shade names and I was just like, ooh, okay. So one is called Highlight Bling, which looks like the lightest one. The darkest one looks like it's called Flash Me. Please don't. And the, the medium shade one, which I don't know if I pick up the lightest or the medium, but it's literally called After Sex Glow. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but when I think wet and wild, I think of like teenagers buying their first makeup. You know, it's affordable, it's in drugstores, it's out there so that maybe, am I being a prude? I don't think I'm a prude, but I just, I saw that and I was like, oh, hmm, take a step back. <laughs> uh, I'm still gonna buy it, but that just, the names kind of shocked me. <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ, another color pop release. See, if I was a better person, I would have organized all the color pop releases like in one. I don't know if I could handle that though. I don't know if I could handle doing all these color pop releases in a row. <laughs> I could do a whole B Wow just on color pop. Sh I don't want to, but should I? This is their new, like, gold or good as gold collection. It's literally a whole collection. There's a palette, which actually looks kind of pretty. But I don't need. I mean, the packaging is gorgeous. I like the I like the shades. Like they included a matte black in this palette, but I don't need it, Monica. Don't get it. They've got uh, lipsticks, like their um, bullet lipsticks. They got lip liners. They've got eyeliners, liquid shadows. I have to I have to give it to them. The packaging is gorgeous. The marketing is gorgeous. But it's I mean, these releases, these like pretty releases, are just getting drowned out by their constant wave of other releases. Give it time to sink in. Also, I just want to throw this in there, This, the, all of these singles, I don't know if they're new releases or if it's just the pan or the palette that's the new release, but I just want to share this uh, hashtag that Trend Mood posted on this picture, which is hashtag keeping up with ColourPop. I don't think anyone can keep up with ColourPop, and I think, if anything, we need to view keeping up with ColourPop in the same way we view keeping up with the Jonases, which, if you don't know, is basically a phrase that means you have to keep up with, like, the latest technology, the latest cars and everything, to keep up with the Jonases, which are, like, these stereotypical, like, the next-door neighbor or the friends you have that just always have a little bit more than you. And I think that's such a bad, like, mind frame to have. Either that or it's relating to the Kardashians and the keeping up with the Kardashians was even worse. <laughs> so I don't know which one it's referring to, but like, I don't, I think we need to get out of that mind space of just thinking like, oh, the person next to me has this, they have this, I need more. Like, I don't know. I, it's, it's just, it's toxic. Oh my God. And I have another ColourPop palette. I can't even like, um, uh, I think this is an Ulta exclusive, but there's another ColourPop palette. I've had it. Can't. I've done four ColourPop discussions in just this B-Wow. We need to stop <laughs> okay and that's everything like specifically holiday that i wanted to talk about in today's video thank you so much for joining me for this special uh holiday edition am i in focus thank you so much for joining me for this special holiday edition of the be wow let me know down below what your most favorite holiday release is and what you're looking forward to and if you picked up anything for black friday because i'm sure there's a hell of a lot of sales happening thank you guys so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.